Oh my goodness, I cannot believe I finally reached video number five. I'm glad it's not a 10 video day. Gosh, who knows what's going to happen. But anyway, my name's Ray. This is Life and Vibe. And we are on the seven day challenge of watching and commenting on all of Sarasota Tim's videos. And this is video number 13. Um, a very fitting way to end this day on video 13. And those of you who are keeping up with this series and are watching, I do commend you all for your uh, ability to want to watch this with me <laughs> as I react and make commentary about Tim and find out that he is definitely coveting very much uh, a home uh, because he focuses on them quite a lot. In fact, this is the home he focused on here. Let me actually take the video back a little bit um, to where he starts out, which of course, as we know, is on the golf course. <laughs> Tim made it to Kingman. He decided to say that the town initially was impoverished and then he then found the golf course with the golf course housing along it. And uh, now he's in his, his element because Tim is a man of means. He's used to a certain standard and quality of living. And uh, he wishes to keep it up. So, <laughs> you know, he worked very hard for it. <laughs> anyway, let me just put out my darn fair use things. You know, guys, I got to get this stuff out. Oops, that was quick. <laughs> I got to get these fair uses out. I got to let them know that, you know, I'm going to be using Tim's two minute video, but this is just for entertainment purposes only. Nothing else, just entertainment. Oh my goodness. And everyone probably knows by now, but if you don't, I'm a registered nurse here in the United States. I am trained to be a nurse practitioner and I'm trying to keep my brain cells going because I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> from watching and making all of this Tim content. And like, fortunately, with one of them, I had to redo the video, which totally threw me off my game. Um, but somebody was kind enough in my comments to say, couldn't hear Tim. I was like, oh, it's that StreamYard issue I get. So anyway, I did get that video back. It's kind of out of sync now a little bit. So I apologize, guys. But uh, they're there. And this is the last one for the night. After this, Tim did not upload anything else that I saw. So this will be the end of the day for me here in Virginia Beach. <laughs> I've been getting some just, you know, wild comments in my life <laughs> to be expected. All right. Let me get myself small here. Uh, it's, it's a lot of water to keep that grass green in a desert. That's for sure. Always wonder about golf courses and desert areas. You know, I wasn't meant to have this green grass here. <laughs> all right. Yeah, of all the golf courses I've played uh, in Arizona, it's the first time I've seen the sprinklers on. And they're definitely keeping the fairways green here. This is a beautiful golf course here Sorry about that. Uh, called uh, Serbat Cliffs. I'm having a great time out here. I thought I... Didn't he have a difficulty pronouncing that one in the last videos? Tim, don't do the same thing twice. You're going to leave me confused at the moment. I'm sorry. I had to get up and shut the door. Here. <laughs> Not putting worth a darn, but I'm really striking the ball great. I'm right here in between the uh, sprinklers. If I can hit it before the sprinklers get me. All right. This is a gorgeous home right here on the golf course. It's 181. And the name of the street... I'll give it to you up here. I'd like to know, look at this one. I, people are familiar with the area, so they're letting me know who, how much, or, or we'll take a look at Tim's comments, sorry, and they'll let him know, because I wanted to take a quick peek at his comments before we finish out this video. 168 mm. and 181, uh, two big differences in prices. But you gotta go down here to the next hole, and 181 and 168, and the name of the street, is Greenway Drive at Country Club Drive. <laughs> I would be interested in knowing the value. Look, they're just building them everywhere. The secret is out, folks. Out west here. Uh, all so, well, the United States is growing in its population, Tim. So you, we're going to have to have more housing 
at some point we may not need all this housing because maybe the population starts to go down. We don't know. But at the moment, we are still in the housing shortage, supposedly. I have no idea. I'm not going to get into a real estate conversation. It's not my area of expertise. Um, medicine, terminally, is my area of expertise. Watching Tim covet these houses, and he's very, I mean, he is talking about houses and house buying and, and seemingly forgetting he's in retirement. These are the things you think about when you're working and your working age and you're having a family, I guess. Usually at this age, you're trying to downsize. Tim's trying to get into a mansion over here. <laughs> Most people getting older are trying to have less, less house to care for. And Tim just wants more house to take care of. My goodness, Tim, you really are coveting homes at the moment. This man is tired of being hot in the RV. That's what I'm thinking. He's wanting the luxuries of home. Oh, keep going, Tim. Let's make this. All these deserts can't take it. Kingman. I thought the I thought Kingman earlier today when I was driving around was like you know a very low rent old place. And man, this what a thing to say! It was a low rent old place. Oh, my goodness. Let's hope you're not neighbors with anybody from Kingman, Arizona at any point. You know? I mean, it's just the sort of thing you just try to keep to yourself. Initially, you were pulling up to a truck stop area with gas stations. I don't think in any part of town, if they have an interstate area, that's going to be the most attractive part of town. <laughs> so I don't know what you were expecting. Um... But, uh, yeah, uh, we have an idea that you like things shiny and brand new. Anything that's historical or anything of history, knock it down. That old stuff. This side of 40, uh, my buddy here tells me, is all new homes. So check that out for me. So here's some more homes that are lined up along. Uh, the I would be always nervous of getting a home in a desert area i mean they have the green grass but some of those lakes are you know getting a little dry because we use so much water for you know golf courses and stuff where it's not really a golf course area so we use a lot of water fairway here that's i-40 right out here in kingman exit 51 stockton hill road and apparently that's a big exit down there, I think. My friend told me where a bunch of stuff is. Oh, he just crushed it. Nice shot. And look, you got your campers back here. He's got a shed there. He's got a solar up there. Look at these homes, man. People are living large. Oh, my goodness. All right. Tim, I think thought you said that you were a minimalist anyway let me bring back tim's comment sorry it just decided to it just keeps on playing and it does its thing and i don't get a choice is what it does and uh i did want to bring up some of the comments before we finish this video out just on the comments in his chat on that one real fast see some of the interesting comments that get left behind oh my goodness He's put in a new video. Oh my gosh. I got to get another video made, guys. I can't believe it. We got a Walmart shopping trip that's 17 minutes long. Tim trying to kill me over here. But anyway, uh, 168 Greenway Drive was $715,000 on the Zillow estimate. Thank you, Rhonda. He was going to buy Tim an umbrella, $100 buy coffee. <laughs> I think somebody watched mine. Oh, the envy. Somebody's doing a little cowboy. Did you get your Jeep Part G or Advantage it, about that time for me? Can you do an advice to the viewers? Crushed it. No, Tim cannot explain anything about this. Nothing. Go see Dr. Bob. I recommend Dr. Dr. Ed Weir. <laughs> I could put anything on here. All right, you should go visit Lake Mead. They're bleeding the Colorado River, the Colorado River dry out there. Thank you. Yes, they are. So we have here somebody's put some pricing in here. One eighty-one Greenway Drive, four hundred and fifty-one thousand seven hundred dollars. 
Um, and then I thought we saw a different price from uh, one seven hundred and ones for the just Tim's price range. <laughs> Enjoy the game. Great video. It was two minutes. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. I'm finishing this. Oh, goodness. Are you serious? Did I look at all that and I didn't even share the screen? Are you serious? Oh, God. Okay, hold on. Let me share the screen. Oh, Jesus. I'm not redoing this video, I promise you, because I got a 17-minute a Walmart <laughs> to do. He's loving Kingman now. He saw all these big houses. Sorry. These are all the comments that I was reading. Hi, geez, Ray. Am I small? Yeah. Okay, good. Sorry about that, guys. I tell you, I'm tired. And I've, like I said, I've got to, could not believe that Tim has, has now put out a uh, Walmart video over here that I need to then do something with. I thought I was done for the night. Ugh, but Tim is not done. He's got to get these videos cranked out. <laughs> Watch those water sprinkle hazards when on the green. You don't need an extra bogey. Ah, uh, 168 Greenway, 690,000. And somebody saying 161 with a question mark. No way, really? Definitely, people are living large. And so Tim was like thinking he had a house there. Don't get him excited like that, folks. Okay, <laughs> don't get him excited. All right, I, I'm going to get this one finished. Let me just say... You know, if you do like this type of content, hit the subscribes. We always appreciate it. And uh, I appreciate all my channel members um, who have joined the community um, when I try to get out and do my live streams again. So look, I really appreciate it. We just started uh, rolling out the memberships. And so I'd love for you to join me on that. Um, obviously, <laughs> why not? <laughs> all right, guys, let me bring up my uh, theme music. Let me get to this Walmart video that I was not expecting. Oh.